Thanks, Patrick. And as we continue to track these storms, Jefferson County leaders are also making plans. Today, Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brannick issued a disaster declaration for the county. Yesterday, Port Arthur Mayor Thurman Barty issued a voluntary evacuation order for those living in Sabine Pass and Pleasure Island. Tonight, we're learning more about those plans from Jefferson County Judge. Children's reporter Jordan James joins us live now with more on his conversation he had with Judge Brannick today. Yeah, Kelsey disaster declaration was issued out there. New models showed that Southeast Texas could be impacted by both Laura and Marco. The order allows Jefferson County to have additional resources with storms looming. County Judge Jeff Brennick tells me that the county has been working tirelessly to ensure that all of their equipment is functioning and that transportation options are available. Now the first area to evacuate will likely be those in Port Arthur and south of 365 in Highway 73. Unlike previous years, the county is looking to put folks in hope hotels opposed to one central location due to the pandemic. Brannick is encouraging everyone to have a plan in place. It's going to be what it's going to be. We don't control Mother Nature and uh, we're just going to have to deal with, with what we're confronted with. And we're going to stay on top of it and uh, always try to get the best available information so that we can make appropriate decisions. For those looking for sand and sandbags in Port Arthur, the city says they have ran out, but will let everyone know once more are available. A voluntary evacuation order has been issued for those living in Sabine Pass and Pleasure Island. More places could be included depending on the latest track from Hurricane Marco and Tropical Storm Laura. Tomorrow at 8, Jefferson County will fully activate their emergency operations center. That's when we can expect more updates from county leaders. Coming up at 10, you'll hear from Beaumont's Mayor Becky Ames about the challenges that both of these storms have presented. Reporting here live in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.